Hey guys, Ashen1 here, and welcome to this Demon Souls remake video. In this one, we are looking at advanced soul farming techniques. Now, this is for New Game Plus and higher, so if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's get straight into it. Of course, before we start, we want to maximize our soul gain, and there are a few items and spells which help us do this. The first is the Ring of Avarice, which you may already be aware of, a ring that gives us 20% extra souls. Now, you can get this from World 3-1, the Prison of Hope, from the vendor for 50,000 souls, or you can get it in Upper Latria, 3-2. After you've dropped the giant womb, you can actually go down and pick this ring up for free. Again, in World 3 then, in the Prison of Hope, 3-1, you come down to the first floor and you can pick up the silver bracelets, and these are going to give you an extra 10% soul gain. The silver bracelets are a female-only item, but if you come to the statue here in the Nexus, and you are playing as male, don't worry, because you can change the body type, so from type B to type A, which is essentially from male to female. And finally then, you just need access to the spell Soul Thirst, which we get from Yuria the Witch. So if you need to know how to access her, just check out the video on my channel. Soul Thirst gives us an extra 50% extra soul gain. So that's with 10% from the Silver Bracelets and 20% from the Ring of Avarice for a total of 80% extra souls. I will be using Soul Sucker in quite a few of these runs as I don't have a very good strength or dexterity melee build, but don't worry, if you want to use this you don't really need that much magic or intelligence. I've kept my stats soft capped at 40, so I haven't gone crazy with the leveling. Right, so the first run is here in the Tower of Latria, just come to the Old Monk Archstone, and I start with Soul Thirst, I switch to Soul Sucker, run straight out of the room. I soul suck this black phantom, and if I have my pure black will tendency and all my soul boosting items and spells, I'm looking at just over 26 and a half thousand souls for about 15 seconds work. And you can just rinse and repeat this without any resource costs. So what I like to do to make this as fast as possible is have the spells ready. So as soon as I pop soul thirst, I switch to soul sucker to make sure that when I come through here, I'm not caught short accidentally using the wrong spell. As soon as I cast Soul Sucker, I switch back to Soul Thirst, and then I rinse and repeat, and this takes 15 minutes to get 1 million souls. Okay, so the second run, come to the Altar of Storms, with Pure Black World Tendency, and a Grave Robber Ring. Now I have a bow in my left hand, and the Silver Catalyst in my right hand. You don't want to be switching the Silver Catalyst in and out, because if you do that, you will drain your MP. And I have Soul Thirst ready. And what we do is we simply run backwards on ourselves, come through the slug caves, and we want to pop Soul Thirst, kill a Reaper, and whilst Soul Thirst is still active, kill a Black Phantom. So, as you come up through the cave here, the faster you can kill this Reaper, the better. Now, I don't really have the best means of killing him, but I have a means that is fast enough. So I run up as far as I can, I pop Soul Thirst, and I snipe him with three arrows. And we get our first load of souls. 22,000's worth. And then sprint. Get Soul Sucker ready, make sure it's your active spell. Sprint, 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 sprint. And then stop when you get to here. You have to walk from this point onwards, even with the Grave Robber Ring on. And then just Soul Suck this Black Phantom. And there you can see 76,000 souls. So we've just got about 100,000 souls straight away. But we're not done yet. We have two black phantoms here. So I need to chug some of my spices. Again, if you had stupidly high intelligence, you wouldn't need to replenish your MP as much as I am. So what I do is come as close to this one as I can. I pop soul first, and then I soul suck him as quickly as possible and his friend over there on the right will notice. So run immediately back to this flag here, turn around, just chug one or two more spices so you've got enough for another soul suck, and we want to kill this black phantom while soul thirst is still active. Now I can't get him from this angle, so I shoot an arrow at that post, and that turns him, and then I come in, and I soul suck him, and that is the run done. I quickly then use a talisman and evacuate to go back to the Nexus to rinse and repeat. And if you're running this in New Game Plus like I am in the video, you're looking at 183,000 souls 
every 2 minutes 20 seconds, which is pretty great. The third and final sold farming technique then is one we already know of. We're back at the monolith forest using the storm ruler to take out these flying enemies. But what happens if we go into new game plus and higher where the enemies get stronger but we can't upgrade storm ruler? Surely that means that storm ruler won't be able to kill them in one hit. Well, yep, that's what happens and that's not great. I mean, that's going to slow us down massively and Storm Ruler is one of the weakest weapons in the game for its durability. So, a way around this is to activate Hyper Mode. Now, if you don't know what Hyper Mode is, I do have a video on my channel which shows you how to activate it. But basically, we will use the Morium Blade and the Clever Rat's Ring, and at 30% HP or less, we will have enough damage output to take down these flying enemies once again with our Storm Ruler. But not just one Storm Ruler. Now that we're in New Game Plus, we can use two, and that can help offset the durability issues that we have. And with pure Black World tendency and keeping Soul Thirst up, you are looking at 108,000 souls per run. So there you have it, guys. I really hope this was helpful to you. Enjoy spending all of your hard earned souls. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, and I can keep more coming. All the best, guys, and stay safe.